Um, as probably you know, I celebrated my first 100 days last week um, on Thursday. Um, I'm excited to say that I visited all 39 cities and towns in 98 days. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> and it was really good to um, get to travel to Rhode Island to thank Rhode Islanders for their resilience uh, in for making sure that we're coming back strong. Um, I, it was great to visit the small businesses community in different um, cities and towns and to hear directly from them about the, how um, they are doing coming back out of the pandemic and, and the steps that they're taking to make the economy stronger. Uh, last week, I also had a very successful housing summit and I want to thank everyone that was involved in, in making sure that it happened. Especially, I would like to then uh, uh, thank my co-host, uh, Secretary of Commerce, Stephen Pryor. We kept doing the, those co-hosting um, conversations on Facebook. Uh, it was an, a great conversation. And I want to give a special thanks to Roger Goddard, Mary Thomas, and Kayla, Kayla Sims. They were um, individuals that had been affected by homelessness here in the state of Rhode Island, and they gave their testimony during the, um, um, the housing summit. There were, there were very moving stories about the challenges that they went through. And as well, I would like to thank the, um, the housing advocates that were present, in, um, including Karen Santilli from Crossroad, Eileen Hayes from Amos House, Captain Eric Wallen from the Operation Stand Down, and Christina Contreras Fox from the Rhode Island Coalition to End Homelessness. Um, I look for, I'm looking forward to continuing the conversation in the coming months. This was one of many conversations to come. Um, last week, I also hosted my first in-person uh, Rhode Island Emergency Management Advisory Council meeting. Um, great information was um, shared during this meeting, um, and especially seeing what's happening in other um, states and also um, in other countries and continents, um, especially uh, weather related. It's more important now than ever that we are having this meeting and making sure that we are prepared so the council is ready, the advisory council is ready to advise the governor in any case of an emergency. Um, I also attended the Department of Correction graduation um, that I was very proud to attend. Um, they, they had a class of 20 correctional officers that um, graduated. Uh, they had a diversity of 50% in this group. Um, they had one female, so we're hoping that for the next class um, we can get more females um, that want to join the department and see that this is a career of choice for them. Um, after that, on Friday, the governor and I were um, honored to host the Madam Ambassador Sonia Guzman uh, from the Dominican Republic and boy to the United States. Um, and I want to thank um, Senator Ana Quesada and Representative Grace Diaz for arranging that wonderful visit. Um, it was a really a, a good um, event on Friday that we had to welcome, welcome um, the ambassador here um, at the State House. Um, yesterday, I was joined, I joined the governor, um, also Senator Reed, um, Governor McKeague, Senator Reed, and Senator Whitehouse um, to the King Street Commons in Providence. We celebrated 35 new affordable housing that's been added, and five of those units are actually net zero. Um, if, if you have not done a feature on it, I recommend uh, for the media to go and take a look at it. It's incredible how they have this uh, small unit. Um, it's more spacious than, than mm -hmm. what we thought, right? When we look at it from the outside, you thought it was gonna be smaller, but once you get in there, it's very spacious and, and the design is beautiful. Uh, it was in collaboration with RISD that the design was done. Um, in, in, we were very impressed, yes. um, in, and I think this is a, another alternative for the housing crisis that we have. And the uh, really important that is net zero. So instead of having um, um, the owners, the individuals are gonna live here, instead of having to have high bills, actually they have the potential that they're gonna be getting credit um, electric, uh, from the electric company. So um, you should take a look at it. 
Uh, so I want to congratulate one neighborhood builders, Liz and um, Rhode Island Housing, and Building Futures because the the Building Future um, students were participated in building these houses, so, which at the same time helps to add more affordable housing, more housing options to the state, and at the same time we're training the workforce of the future in this new um, construction of net zero. So it's a win-win all around. Um, so this was a great event in um, looking ahead. Uh, we have the Equity Council meeting tomorrow. Pastor Chris is going to be hosting. Um, the, Chris Abulimi, who's the Deputy Chief of Staff of yes. the Governor, is going to be, we all call him Pastor Chris. <laughs> uh, he's going to be hosting the meeting. And um, there's going to be the first in-person meeting, and it will take place right here.